So I just realized that the little holder I have for my phone, it's like this um, mini tripod and it's got like this phone clamp thing was overlapping the buttons that stop and start recording. So that's why I kept on stopping. Um, so what I was saying before was uh, I want to do an ammonia test right now and I want to see what it is just to have it. So I have, pretty sure I have an ammonia tester in here. Let's see, yep. Yep, do it right in the front. So um, I'll do that right now. I will go ahead and test for some ammonia and we'll see what happens in terms of our parts. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just put this down here, aim it up, and we can do that. Get the cycle back in place. It's been a while since I've used this stuff, so. Um, Usually you want to rinse these out before you use them. And, and so I'm going to do that real quick, just so there's nothing left in there. Okay, so Using these is pretty simple. There's a line right here and you want to fill it up to about halfway where the line is. All right, so that's five milliliters. And we have two ammonia bottles here. Test for phosphates. So this says add eight drops. put this down so I don't spill it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, almost got nine in there. All right, so I forget. I guess you just put them both in together. I kind of forget if, um, yeah, I think it just kind of needs to make some other to do the chemistry correctly. So we'll do eight more in here, and this should change it to the color where we can see what kind of ammonia is in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, here we go. And I'll just do, you can see it's already changing colors, right? You can see that ammonia coming out. So I'll do a quick shake. We definitely have some yellow going in there. So now we'll go to our trusty graph here and we'll kind of match it up together. I think it's that, yeah, it's that one. So we are definitely on the top, which means, oh. Okay, well, there's no ammonia in the tank, which makes sense because it's a brand new tank. Um, and I'm assuming this is because the cycle hasn't really started yet, or it's still in the process of accumulating stuff. But it's definitely a zero PP, PPM, parts per mil. Or whatever that is. So that's good, I guess. Um, and again, I'll just show you that from your side. It's definitely that. It's not really, really any green in there. So it might make sense to actually test um, the nitrites and the nitrates now too, just so together we can understand at what phase it's in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that as after I close these up and I'll let that ammonia sit in there. Maybe it takes a little bit of time to actually do that. So we'll do two more tests. We'll test both of them, but unfortunately that one looks like it's got some funky stuff in there. So I don't know if this is gonna be, I'll try to wash it out real quick. All right, so same thing. We'll just get a couple of scoops of that. Five millimeters there. Yeah, um, 
I'm actually going to just, I'm actually just going to use this one because it's saying I have to scrub a little bit and I don't think that's going to make it accurate. So for the first test, let's go ahead and test the, um, I guess we'll test the night traits because that's probably the first step and then it goes into nitrites I, i'm pretty sure it's in that order so i will take my trusty nitrate tester here okay so it wants us to add 10 of these we'll go ahead and do that Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. I'll put that on there. Let's do a little shake. So that's the first coloration. And now we'll put in the solution, test solution number two here. And we'll put ten of those in there as well. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, I am curious about also the nitrites here. So, okay. So for this one, it is somewhere. Yeah, I mean, your guess is as good as mine, but it looks like that's also somewhat to between zero and five. So there is no nitrates in there, really. Um, no ammonia. Oh, wait, let me see this. Is it changing? Let's check this out. This actually looks a little bit more greenish. Okay, so... There you go. So it still is pretty low. It's still kind of something that comes somewhere in there. Maybe it looks like it could be a little green. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's actually some ammonia coming in. It just takes a little bit. So there's 0.25 ppms, which is a good sign, I think, if there's ammonia. That means there is some kind of cycle going on. So um, I do want to keep those kind of sitting there for a second, let them sit. So I'm going to try to scrub this out again and I don't feel like stopping the recording. So I'll be right back. So, did a pretty good job, I guess, of it. So, let's go ahead and take that there. Go all over. It's about all right. Okay. So, lastly, let's do the... Uh, see. Okay. So, looks like I have to figure out where the nitrite tester is. All right, so this is a nitrite tester here. I don't think there's two for the nitrites. I don't have, let me just go through this stuff here. Looks like we have some different pH testing here. pH, pH. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure with the nitrite there's only one because it didn't say, it doesn't say more than one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And after this, I'm actually gonna research what that means in terms of that. So it's interesting, this is actually a blue solution here. So I'll be careful about that. One, two, three, four, five. Almost got a sixth one in there. We'll shake it up. Okay, so for all of you reefers that do this all the time, you probably know what that color means right away, but I don't. So for nitrites, 
zero. Zero PPN. So it's all very interesting because there doesn't look like there's any nitrites or nitrates. And again, let me try to put this in order of which it should come up here. So I think that's about right. right? And so these three, I'd be careful you don't drop these things. But that's what we're looking at here. So um, it looks like there's some ammonia. All right, it looks like no nitrates, nitrites, and yeah, that's very interesting. So unless I have this backwards, unless I, yeah, it should be like that, it should be right. So there you have it. So it almost seems like I've finished my cycle already, um, but again, I don't necessarily know um, if that's the case, um, but I did put some lice in and I've been putting cycle in the last few days. So there would be reason for, I guess, the ammonia levels to, you know, go down or be low. Um, so that's interesting. That's kind of like uh, what I was hoping for. Um, and so I'll just continue to cycle it and then um, I'll do some readings in you know after a few days with the fish in there obviously i'm gonna put some more do some more readings tomorrow before i put the fish in um just to figure out where they stand and try to continue building out this tank and create some bacteria growth um so that's pretty much it that was my testing of day two my parameters are all right my ph needs to be fixed obviously the salt content needs to be fixed and it looks like it's actually um been Okay, so let's just do this one more time. I'm going to put this in here. Okay, so now it's actually at 1.014. So we put about half the amount. We put about half the amount we need to. You see, it's um, it's gone up. We need it to be about up here. So really the rest of the box um, will you know, go in there. Um, pretty much All right the rest of the box will go in there at least it says 10 can 10 gallons but plus keep in mind i've been putting the ph ph stable in there which i'm pretty sure also affects the salinity level as well and it's a lot more concentrated so with that being said maybe not the whole box because i've been also using that um but you can see how much i've already used so i'm gonna leave it at that guys i'm gonna go ahead and get the, the salt water in place i'm gonna get, make sure all the parameters are set and then when I feel like everything's good, we'll go get some fish tomorrow. And maybe I'll actually film picking up the fish at the store. I want to go to the actual local fish shop. Uh, there's one out in Framingham I can go check out. I might make a trip out there. It'd be a nice Saturday trip. I don't know if they're open. I don't know what their deal is with the pandemic. What they're, um, I'm assuming they're open because they need to sell their fish. Um, so we may do that tomorrow. That'll be a fun little trip. We can go pick out some fish together. So thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Until next time. See you later.